Hello everyone, my name is Louis Aldrich and today I want to show my movie review about the movie If Anything Happens I Love You. So without further ado, let's watch this movie review together. If Anything Happens, I Love You is an American 2D or animated movie from America. The artwork of the movie is made with TV Paint, which is a software for making animation and drawing. The movie itself is 12 minutes long for the duration and released on 4 March for private screening and on 20 November publicly on Netflix. This movie doesn't have any actor or actress during the movie. The movie is made with no sound, so there is no conversation or anything in the movie, just background music. The producer for this movie is Gilbert Films and O Good Productions, with Michael Govier and Will McCormack as the director. The movie told a story about two parents who began to grow separated from one another following the death of their pre-teenage daughter. They began to remember every moment they made with their daughter and having flashbacks about it, like having a road trip, photo of their daughter's birth, birthday, and the last flashbacks when their daughter goes to school as the day she died by gunshots. As the parents mourn, the daughter's shadow tries to bring them together, thus bringing the parents' shadow together and making their present selves embrace the memories they had with their daughter including the daughter's shirt sitting behind them. The movie ends with the daughter's shadow becoming a bright light between the parents embracing shadows. Pros for this movie is that the movie is made with a short duration but impactful for the viewers. So they don't have to watch for a long time and can easily understand the meaning of the movie. And the film's background is consisted of watercolor on paper to make the story feel raw and unfinished, mentioning that the film attempted to have minimum color in its background to match the emptiness that fills the grieving parents. The choice for the soundtracks is also great. Lindsay Marcus did a great job making the soundtrack. It makes the listeners feel sad and sorrowful when they hear it representing the movie as the parents mourn about their daughter's death. Moral values are also the pros of the movie. The movie teaches us to understand more about gun violence in school that has taken many lives and caused loss and tragedy, and how heartbreaking is it to lose someone that you love. Cons for this movie is that the movie is confusing at the first minute. The storyline doesn't make people understand what happened to the couple in the movie. Another con for the movie is the song in the middle of the movie. There's a pop song that kind of ruined the sad and sorrowful vibe when watching it. The animation of the movie is also kind of boring. The animator makes the animation in stop motion rather than 3D animation. It would be better if they make it in 3D animation so that the animation looks more fresh and lively to see. Overall, I think this movie is a really good movie to watch with family. It has a very deep and strong message or moral value for people who watch it. Uh, not to mention, the short duration of the movie is excellent. The movie has 12 minutes duration, but it feels like an hour long. Also, I like how they make the movie has no conversation in it, but just the soundtrack. It feels sad to see and can bring our sadness overflow. And to be honest, I like this movie. And I think an animation movie should be more well known and deserve to get more awards for the hard work that the animator, director, and producer made.